So this is probably the last chance I'll have to show you guys uh, my sole exhibition. This is not an NFT because officially, after I finish doing this video, everything that you see around here is going to be neatly packed and stored in my studio. And some of these artworks are going to go to their new owners and some other artworks are going to go to other exhibitions. So this is literally the last chance to see this exhibition is going to look. I know that I have a lot of fans and supporters in Berlin, which is great, but there's people all over the world that would have been super excited to be here, but well, can't make it. So this video tour is a little bit of an opportunity to share with these people the exhibition, talk a little bit about the artworks, and uh, we could say, save this for posterity. So if you're watching this in the future, hi, uh, thanks for coming from my exhibition from the past. So we're going to start here with these series of four paintings. These are slightly older paintings. They're from 2018, and they represent everyday objects uh, with a tip of nostalgia and a pop element to them. My idea behind these works were to present stuff that you interact with in a daily basis one way or another and use that familiarity as a selling point for these artworks. Then we move over to these works. These works are um, reappropriation of Greek gods as pop imagery and pop icons. Um, this one, the bigger one, is Caesar. It was painted in 2020. And the funny story behind its eye patch is that I fucked up the position of the eye and instead of repainting it, I decided to just add an eye patch and you know, solve myself some problems. These are a second series of Greek gods. And this artwork over here had the immense honor of being exhibited in the TV tower. So at some point, it was the highest piece of art in Berlin. Uh, over here, we have some uh, really older pieces. These must be the older pieces in the whole exhibition. It's a triptych of a space imagery, a space opera of some sort. But even if it's uh, futuristic in a way, it's also nostalgic due to the inspiration behind these artworks as comic books from the 1950s. So it has this interesting duality of futurism and nostalgia, some sort of re retrofuturism, you could call it. On this wall, you can see the artworks that give name to the exhibition. This is not an NFT. The idea behind this was um, while I'm producing the artworks for this exhibition, I'd be creating physical artworks, and everybody that would come into my studio and understand that I'm super passionate about NFTs would always ask me, oh, is there an NFT with this? Is this going to be an NFT? And it'd become a running joke throughout that time that, no, guys, this is just good old regular physical art. This is not an NFT. And then when the time came to actually name the exhibition, I thought that this idea that it's not an NFT uh, would play in a very interesting and ironic way. A little bit maybe alluding to René Magritte's This is not a pipe, but it was obviously a painting of a pipe. So I guess it's sarcastic like that. On this wall over here, you can see some of my newest works. This is all stuff that I did specifically for the This Is Not an NFT exhibition. Uh, these works in text come from uh, old vintage Batman TV series. So these would be the sound effects that Batman would have when he would kick a bad guy's ass in one way or another. Some of the other works are uh, inspired from uh, memes and stuff from pop culture and different uh, mythologies and icons.
And on the second wall, it is a little bit more figurative and goes in the direction of Greek gods and stuff I found on the internet that awoken my interest in one way or another. Over here we have these three banners of tape art. It's a medium that I've been working very heavily over the last year, so I think it would have been interesting to include it in the exhibition too. Uh, these works are the leftovers of the project that I did earlier last year in Bristol, where I was planning to use these giant pineapples to do a series of artworks for the Street Art Festival Upwork, but the luggage that contained this material never showed up and uh, ended up showing up in the studio like three months later. So I decided to reutilize and recycle that and showcase it in the exhibition. This piece over here is called I Will Impale My Enemies with a Spear Made of Gold. It is a found object. This is the head of Haribo Gummies display in the supermarket that I had the random casualty, causality, the random occurrence of finding it uh, the day after Halloween lying in the street um, covered in fake blood. So I took it home, I kept it in the studio for like three years without knowing what to do with it, and I decided to transform it into this sculpture. On this side, you can actually see some works that actually are NFTs. These are some of the digital works that I've been uh, minting in different blockchains across the year. And uh, as a way to showcase digital works on a somewhat affordable way, I went through a small ads website from Berlin and went to all the grandmothers that had getting these, these frames as presents throughout Christmas and didn't know what to do with them and just ended up buying all these old wonky frames to showcase some of my digital works. I also included in this wall some older works featuring pineapples, which was uh, for a long, long time a very prevalent subject in my art career, as well as some abstract geometric works that I did with the laser cutter around 2016 or 17. Over here, we have some other works done with tape art. Uh, this is basically the leftovers of the leftovers of the leftovers of projects that I've been doing over last year. And I decided to gr group these leftovers into their chromatic families and this way create these series of nine abstract works of tape art that end up working a little bit like a rainbow of sorts. These are my first experimentations with this new technique of laser cut wolf sculptures. They are uh, based on pop icons, like Mozart, probably the, the first pop star ever. Marlon Manson, which uh, was a very important figure in my teenage years and Beyonce, which is total queen bee. Over here we have a series of painted mannequin hands. Uh, these were a little bit more uh, trouble, uh, work-oriented than some of my previous works. Uh, while I usually tend to do work fast and big and and efficiently, these were really detailed works where I actually had to paint the details in by hand. And it's not something that I usually do anymore with my art practice, but it was very therapeutical to make that happen. And uh, 
these hands and these arms of mannequins, I just found them in Berlin randomly on the street. And I think that's a little bit a uh, reoccurring theme in this exhibition, making art with random stuff that I just found in the streets of Berlin. And probably the most important and well-received piece of this exhibition is Selfie Land, which is a bathtub filled with fake money for you to take selfies in and throw money up in the sky like in you're in a 90s rap movie clip, video clip. So this is the exhibition. This is not an NFT my sole exhibition in Berlin that ran from October 2022 to January 2023. Uh, it was hosted at the Now Hotel and it was a very big success, a very important part of my art career. So thank you for checking up this uh, video tour. Thank you to uh, the Now Hotel and everybody involved in doing this and thank you to everybody that came.